Balance of bacteria is important for gut health. Many digestive processes rely on a balance of various bacteria, which are found naturally in the gastrointestinal tract. If these bacteria fall out of balance, gastrointestinal disorders may occur, possibly including IBS. Probiotics, which are bacteria or yeast that are associated with health benefits, may help restore this balance. Most probiotics used in IBS treatment fall under two main groups, lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. These probiotics are thought to assist the digestive system. Among other functions, they may strengthen the intestinal barrier, assist the immune system in removing harmful bacteria, and break down nutrients. Probiotics may relieve symptoms of IBS. The American College of Gastroenterology conducted a meta-analysis of more than 30 studies, which found that probiotics may improve overall symptoms, as well as bloating and flatulence, in people with IBS. However, the overall quality of evidence of studies included in the meta-analysis was low, and specific recommendations regarding use of probiotics for IBS remained unclear. The probiotic strain Bifidobacterium bifidum MIM BB75 has been reported to adhere particularly well to intestinal cells and therefore may have an advantage in altering the intestinal microbiota and increasing the intestinal barrier. In a clinical trial published in Alimentary Pharmacology and Therapeutics, once daily Bifidobacterium bifidum significantly improved overall symptoms as well as individual symptoms including abdominal pain, bloating, and fecal urgency. Bifidobacterium bifidum has been shown to improve symptoms of IBS even in its inactivated form. The heat-inactivated Bifidobacterium bifidum bacteria were non-viable, but retained their shape as well as their ability to adhere to intestinal cells. This is important because inactive probiotics have several potential advantages over active probiotics. They are more likely to be stable, particularly if exposed to excessive heat. Inactive probiotics are also easier to standardize than active probiotics. Active probiotics also raise concerns for patients who may be susceptible to infection. Inactive probiotics should relieve these concerns. Whether other strains of heat-inactivated probiotics will also improve IBS symptoms remains unknown. Thank you for listening. Subscribe to Diseases Simplified for more health tips and updates.